week, the bitterness was sky high. Baker Mayfield turned the ball over twice, and Cleveland defense couldn't stop Steelers third-string quarterback, Doc Hodges. And after the Steelers won the game, some of their players ridiculed Kitchens for his controversial T-shirt decision. Did you feel it was disrespectful for a coach to be wearing something like that? Uh, I'll leave it up to you guys, but I know our coach would have never done anything like that. Why throw gas? Uh, I know I said I want to answer, but when you do something like that, you throw your players in harm's way. Um, he's not on the field. The T-shirt didn't have anything to do with us uh, at the minus one moving out. I wore a T-shirt. I wore a jacket with it. Um, my daughters wanted me to wear the shirt, and... I'd wear it again. I'd put a jacket on. I covered it up. I took a picture with a fan. That was as simple as that, you know. T-shirt. I mean, T-shirt didn't cause us to give up 40-yard passes, and we were ready to play. That's the only thing people need to be concerned about. We were ready to play. All right, uh, Shannon. Does Freddie Kitchens deserve the most blame for this one? He does, um, Skip. I believe coaches, head coaches, assistant coaches should be should be able to rise above pettiness. Mm -hmm. Now, we saw Matt Patricia wear a clown T-shirt with Roger Goodell's face on it after they won the Super Bowl skip when they suspended Tom Brady for the first four games. I thought he was out of line for that because I believe players, Skip, it goes back, players are always looking to be petty. That's what we do. Uh, but coaches, I believe... At least that's not motivating the other team skip. if you take a shot at Roger Goodell, right? Skip. Fair. How about... It was a T-shirt more motivating or one of your best players took his helmet and hit the player in the head with, with his helmet. You hit our quarterback in the head last time we saw you. You took his helmet off and hit him on top of his head. Mm -hmm. That's motivation enough. Skip, there's never been love lost between these two teams. Yeah. You remember when Turkey Jones suplexed Terry Bradshaw and almost broke his neck. Mm -hmm. So there's all, this goes back to the 70s. There's always been no love loss between the Pittsburgh Steelers and the Cleveland Browns. But Freddie, Freddie Kitchens is absolutely right. The reason why they lost is because of your dumb coaching. You don't realize... I bet people don't know this at home, Skip. Hmm. Do you know who the NFL's league leading rusher is, Skip? One, Nick Chubb. Hmm. He's averaging 4.9 yards a clip. Mm -hmm. That's what he's averaging. And for some reason, Freddie has in his mind that we're a passing team. Because yesterday, Nick Chubb had 16 carries for 58. They had 24 rushes for 106 yards. Baker had 32 attempts. Skip, that needs to be reversed. Mm. I'm sorry. I understand Baker Mayfield is the number one draft pick, and when you check, uh, select a quarterback that high, you want to show what – but right now, Skip, Nick Chubb in the running game is the way the Cleveland Browns can win games, not Baker Mayfield throwing the football. Skip, it's hard for me to – and I've been trying to go back, and me and my, my re chief research guy, Steve, mm. Steve Owens, we were looking. I can't find a guy that's regressed more from first year to second year than what Baker Mayfield has done. Really? You remember we had this discussion early in the year. Who would you take? I said, I think I'd take, I'd take Lamar right now. Mm -hmm. i tell you another guy. I think Josh Allen has passed him. The mm -hmm. guy out of Buffalo has looked better than Baker Mayfield wow. has this year. Skip, last year he was what, 27 and 14, 28 and 14 touchdown interception? He's 15 and 14 now. Mm -hmm. He has as many interceptions with four games remaining than he had all of last year with 13 fewer touchdowns. Mm -hmm. Now, you think he's going to throw somewhere between three touchdowns over the next Average three touchdowns over the next four games? I don't think so either, Skip. They need to run the football with Chubb and Kareem Hunt. That is their recipe. But for some reason, remember Freddie Kitchens, oh, I, I, my job is to keep everybody happy, and I can do it. No, you can't. And, Skip, before I say anything, but before I turn it over to you, this Odell situation hasn't worked. Nope. It has there, not. I don't, I, I'm not looking to place blame on anybody. Clearly, the Giants wanted him out of their locker room, mm -hmm. and Cleveland wanted a playmaker for Baker. But it hasn't worked. I recommend the Cleveland say, you know what? We're going to try to get our first-round draft pick back. I'm going to try to move him. Wow. It just hasn't worked, Skip. It hasn't worked. Through no fault of his own, because I believe, the, I, I believe Odell is working hard. He's trying to get open. But it has not worked for either, either party has not benefited from this relationship. Mm. And so we need to terminate this relationship as soon as possible and move our separate ways. But Freddie Kitchen is the main reason this thing is going sideways. Hmm. So uh, I'm going to address your first point about not running the football enough. Remember, Kareem Hunt is now in the mix, and it's mixing up the mix even worse because he did give him seven carries. So they ran the ball 23 times. Baker ran it once. I think that was probably a scramble. Yeah. But the point is that's 23 runs versus 32 passes, which isn't nearly as out of balance as you would think. Right. 
But the point is, you are right about Odell because they keep trying to fit square peg into the round hole of last year when he was spreading the ball to a bunch of no-name receivers and they were shocking the NFL. Mm -hmm. They beat the Ravens last year and they, 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 they took everybody right to the wire and had a bunch of big wins last yeah. year that put them on the map. And then when they got Odell, it was like, it's over. No, it, it was over when they got Odell because they plummeted with Odell. And I agree with you because now when you put Kareem Hunt in there, I'm looking at Baker double clutching. He's like, do I get, do, do I throw it here? Do I throw it? No, where, where do I throw it? Who, who? And he has to try to get his friend Odell in the mix. But yesterday he threw him six balls and he caught only three for 29 yards. And one of them was 19. Not good enough. It's just not good enough. And yet, this is my big picture takeaway from what I saw. And I tweeted this right after the game before I saw Pittsburgh's reaction. And I thought this on Saturday when I first saw that it happened. I believe that this game, in the biggest picture, was lost on Friday night in a movie theater in Cleveland, Ohio. And it was a beautiful day in the neighborhood playing there. And it was a beautiful day maybe in that Cleveland neighborhood. <laughs> but it wasn't a beautiful day in the Pittsburgh neighborhood because Freddie Kitchens has to know you have to be smarter than that yeah. as the head coach. Head coach. What, what, what's he thinking in this you know, cell camera age that we're Thank in? Thank you. If you wear that T-shirt out to a movie theater, yeah. what's going to what's happen? What's the win? <laughs> well, yeah, what, what's going to happen? Somebody's going to want to take your picture. He said, well, I, I had it. My, my jacket zipped up. Well, you didn't in the picture because you can see. So not, so, not, so not parents listening to kids. My daughter wanted me to wear the shirt. Oh, so that's, that's, okay. that's the new thing now. So parents gonna, are listening to kids. You're okay. going to put your football like team it. at Jeopardy to please your daughter on what was your birthday, actually. It was his birthday exactly. celebration. You can't tell me that he, he knew exactly what he was doing. That's what happened. Because you, you know what he wanted to do, Skip? They were supposed, this was supposed to, last week, after this, what happened, because they won the game after mm -hmm. the Pittsburgh fiasco. His shirt was intended. They started us on this run. Mm -hmm. Pittsburgh started it. Mm -hmm. That's what that see. That's what that T-shirt is, 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 is encapsulating. Yeah. Okay. No, they didn't. This thing was over before it Did got started. Do you think it would motivate his own team by wearing the shirt? Like, is that what backwards thinking? He thought it could help. My them? takeaway is, <laughs> his ego has been become as big as Odell's or Baker's oh. or Jarvis's or anybody else on that team. He has gotten swept up in being the new head coach of the IT team that was the Cleveland Browns, well, but yeah. not anymore. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And it, it's gone to his head because <laughs> you, it, if you say, I had my jacket zipped up, well, you just, if somebody wanted a quick pick, you just keep your jacket zipped up and nobody's going to know. Hold on, Skip. You remember they, they asked him last year at the press conference? And he says, uh, nobody's happy with winning eight or nine games. We're going to win the Super Bowl. We, we're thinking Super Bowls. Mm. Yeah. You're going to be happy to win eight games this year. Mm. You'll be pleasantly surprised if you can get the eight. That is true. So I loved what the Steelers said because they were exactly right. This was nothing but bulletin board material. Mm. And even uh, David DeCastro was saying, there's a lot of bulletin board material in there. Uh, of course, it's going to motivate us. Well, it did because the truth was, if we're just talking about the Miles Garrett incident in and of itself, Pittsburgh, you know, they, they didn't start that. Miles Garrett started that. So, so what are you saying? I don't know. You could say it with the penalties that occurred yeah, earlier in yeah. the game. They, they started us on this. Pittsburgh started us on this playoff push mm -hmm. we're about to make. Right. So it looked and they to, ended me, it too. to my eye, it looked like the Steelers came out playing with far more emotion. Yeah. Because remember, they didn't have Juju. and James they, Conner. They, they didn't have James Conner. And they obviously didn't have Mason Rudolph, who got benched. But they didn't have Ben Roethlisberger. Please so they're playing with both hands tied behind right. their back. They got duck at quarterback. And what? What's got left? Duck beat you. Okay. Beat duck you, beat Baker. You. And they just came out playing with more emotion, especially on defense, because they wanted to put Freddie K back in his place. And guess what they did, Skip? They had 32 rush attempts yep. with 21 pass attempts. Mm. You see what they like? Uh-uh. No, 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 no. We're going to minimize duck, uh, duck throwing the football. Yep. Skip, I get it. Baker's the first is the number one overall pick. Yep. He's the quarterback. The natural inclination is to have him throw the football. Mm -hmm. But you are better at running it yep. than you are throwing it. So who cares? Let Baker get upset that he's not throwing 35 times a game. Mm -hmm. Let Jarvis and Odell get upset that they don't get 10, 12 targets a game. Yep. You're winning. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you give all these targets away. Uh, Jarvis Landry had 11 targets, mm -hmm. but he caught an L. Uh, uh, Odell had six targets, but he caught an L. At least... It's easier to stomach skip if we win. Like, okay, you know, I can't complain. We yep. we did win. Mm -hmm. But you getting all these targets and, and what? What do I got to show for it? 
Freddie, you know you about to lose his job, right? He's going to lose his job. You do know that? Yeah. And then what? What I mean, what you going to wear a T-shirt while uh, Pittsburgh ended it? <laughs> he going to put that T-shirt on. He going to put that T-shirt on. Started it and ended it. Mm. Uh, fortunately, mm. that may be the case. This Freddie K experiment has not gone according to plan. A head coach you got on a T-shirt like that. High school, skip a high school. I don't even know if a high school coach would do that. It's like a, this is like a fan. It looks like a fan picture. Yes. Like you're the head coach of a football team. Mm. But he's a big star. In his head, yeah. uh, a star's journey that might be ending <laughs> shortly. Um, but here's the other thing, guys. The Patriots took the L. Are they looking less and le less like Super Bowl mm. contenders? But we do have Eric Dickerson mm. to join us. Let's hear what he has to say next. <laughs>